Following the food crisis rocking the country, the federal government of Nigeria on Wednesday announced that it is targeting to produce 1.1 million trillion tons of rice during the second phase of the dry season farming slated to take off soon across the country. Minister of Agriculture and Food Security, Senator Albuquerque Kiari, stated this at the maiden edition of the ministerial press briefing series organized by the Federal Minister of Information and National Orientation in Abuja. Kiari revealed that 150,000 hectares of rice would be cultivated during the second phase of the dry season farming. He added that 300,000 genuine farmers would benefit from the federal government's subsidized certified quality seeds and agro inputs such as fertilizers, micronutrients, herbicides and pesticides. What I have seen recently in terms of agriculture and food security, I have seen a lot of commitment from this present crop of governors. The minister revealed that following a painstaking stakeholders evaluation of the first phase of the dry season farming and with the goal of achieving a higher index of success in the second phase, that the implementation guidelines for the second phase has been modified. He explained that apart from rice, farmers would be supported with inputs to cultivate maize and cassava to boost food production in the country. Kerry further disclosed that 30,000 hectares of maize will be cultivated across all the states of the Federation. In addition, the minister notes that as part of the measures to cushion the effect of high cost of food items in the market, Kerry said 42,000 metric tons of grains from the Strategic Grains Reserves recently approved by President Bola Tinubu would be distributed to needy Nigerians free of charge. A team from the director of the state security in terms of the intelligence reports that they have in those areas where it is needed. Earlier in his opening remarks, Mohammed Idris, Minister of Information and National Orientation, said the objective of the media briefing was to enlighten, inform and educate Nigerians and the world and to ensure that everyone is carried along through the provision of credible and timely information. It is explained that the ministerial press briefing series are in line with the administration's our restore trust and amplified policies and programs pillars. We are kick kicking off today in line with our restore trust and amplified policies and programs pillars. The first two pillars I talked about earlier. This is a chance for you, the distinguished members of the press, to engage with senior officials of government on behalf of the good people of Nigeria. Emphasizing on meeting the people's demand on the high cost of food items in the market, the Minister of Agriculture and Food Security stated that food affordability has remained one of the greatest challenges confronting the government. He however blamed the middlemen who hoard food items with the intention of hiking their prices, assuring that the federal government will soon establish Nigerian Commodity Board to regulate the prices of food items. Aniti, Patrick, Co, TV News, Abuja.